Hello, welcome back to Techie Platform. I am Pratik Sharma, and in this video, I will take you through a variant of an pie chart animation in Jetpack Compose. We'll call this gap pie chart. You can notice the differences between these two animation. From this video, you will have two key takeaways: dynamic start angle with an pie. The first one has all the arcs starting at the same time from top center position. That is minus ninety degrees. But for the second pie chart, the start position is different for every arc. The second arc always start from where the first one left off, and this goes on for other arcs as well. Second would be animation. With the above changes, we will achieve the pie chart where all arcs start together. But what if we want to make it sequential? The second arc will start when the first one finishes, and so on. Isn't it exciting? I am thrilled to see your responses when you also learn this. So let's jump to the code. Before I start, I would urge you to subscribe the channel and leave feedback in the comment section. This is a free channel, and I am happy to see you watching this video. We together have to reach many more developers like you to keep this channel growing. We have to get 100k subs as soon as possible for this channel, and it's not possible without you. So if this video helps you in any way, share this with your friends. Colleagues or in community, so I can bring more such videos. Let's start. Let's first make a copy of this chart. We'll modify this composable to get a pie chart that has gaps between every section. This gap will be in degrees. So this is a copy of animated and pie chart. Let's rename it to animated gap pie chart. Down in the preview, we have a pie data. Now this pie data for this composable doesn't need labels. So I made a copy of that too without label. Also, I created a screen that will host this widget, gap pie chart screen. Now let's use animated gap pie chart in this screen. Let's see if everything is running as before. Let's remove the opacity because now arcs won't overlap on each other, so we don't need opacity. You will notice change in the color of arcs. Now. You can see that the gap pie chart has rounded corners for sections, so add cap to the stroke. You can see that due to these rounded corners, we have the arcs overlap a little bit. That is because of the rounded extra part. But that's not what we need to worry. We will make it work using gaps. As I said before, that the sections can have different colors because they don't overlap. So this means that they can also have a variable start angle. So definitely, we need to add start angle field to our arc data. And now you have got error that arc data requires start angle. So let's give it. Just before that, now we need not find cumulative sweep angles. So change this to it dot value instead of current sum. But now current sum should be used as the start angle. We should be storing a start angle before updating the current sum because when you run for first iteration, it should be zero. And for second and further sections, it should be the end where the previous one ended. You need to add minus ninety to this because the pie chart starts from top center. Also, update the draw arc to use this new start angle now. Nice. I am changing color so that you can see it in on white background as well. Let's add gaps now. When you introduce gaps, the overall degrees have to be compromised. Let's say gap is of 10 degrees and four sections will have four gaps. So we have remaining degrees as 320, 360 minus 40. Now our total will be equivalent to this 320 instead of 360 compared to previous pie chart. Let's do that in the code. You will get total gap degrees by multiplying number of sections with each gap degree. Use this remaining gap degree instead of 360 now. You can see the gaps. But all the gap is added to one place, so we need to consider adding this gap to our start angles as well. But we cannot add fixed gap degrees to start angle; it will be dynamic. We need to also see how many sections are there before a particular section, and for that we have index. So let's say for first star you will have ten degrees added as gap index, but for second you need twenty degrees. Add it because for every arc, we start calculating from top center. 
Now use map indexed instead of map so that we will also have the index now. Now replace it with pi data point and use index for calculating start angle. Great. Let's increase the gap a bit. And now we have gaps and arcs at perfect place. So this is one type of animation which you can use where all the arcs start at the same time but from a different location. But what if we want to make it sequential? So after first arc finishes animating, the second arc will start and so on. We need to introduce delays with animating each arc. So let's say first arc takes in one second to complete. The second should start after one second. Similarly, the third should start after two seconds. And of course, the first one should start without any delay. So change the duration to 1000 milliseconds. Because earlier the whole pie chart was formed in 4000 milliseconds and now every arc will take 1000 millis and will aggregate to 4000 millis. To get this dynamic delay, we should be using index again. Use map indexed again and let's run it. Nice. The easing doesn't look ideal now. It should be just linear easing. Let me increase the duration so we can see animation for longer. We can also start this overall animation after 500 milliseconds. Let's also change our dataset to see how it works with one more data. Rerun the application. Nice. Well, you can also give dynamic interval gap, but that is for another video. And this is it from this tutorial. Did you like it? Then hit the like button so that I can bring more such tutorials. Also, let me know in the comment section if there are any improvements you think are needed in this chart. And of course, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Your one subscription will mean a lot to me and will help channel grow and reach its target of 100k subs. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.